Hi, this video is about the Kerber Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2016 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 14, which also came up in the Grade 7 8 and 9 10 contest. So the question is In the sequence shown, <coughs> each figure after the first is formed by adding four squares to the previous figure. What figure will have exactly 1,677 squares? Okay, well here we can see we have figure 1, which has only one square, and then figure 2 will have four more than that, and figure 3 will have four more than figure 2. And now we want to see which figure number will have exactly 1,677 squares. Well, of course, it would take way too much time to draw out all these figures until we finally get that number of squares. So what we want to do is find a formula which will have which will give us a relationship between the number of squares for the corresponding figure number so that we can easily just put in 1,677 squares to find the exact figure number. Okay. So now we need to introduce variables for the number of squares and also the figure number. So we will have s, the variable s for the number of squares, and that will be equal to, and then we will have f on the other side, which is the figure number. Now, as we can see from the question, after, as a figure increases, figure number increases by one, the number of squares increases by four. So that shows that the number of squares grow four times as fast as the figure number. So we must give the f a coefficient of 4. Okay, and now we have the freedom to add or subtract any single number, which of course can't have anything to do with f. Okay, so now we have s equals 4f. Now let's look at our figure 1 to see what we need to add or subtract, or if we need to keep it the same. So we will substitute in 1 square for s, 1 for s, and then, well, 1 for f, because it's figure 1. So what we have is 1 equals to 4 times 1, and then something else. Now we have 1 equals to 4, which of course doesn't make sense. So now we need to see what we need to add or subtract. Well, we need to subtract 3 for this to make sense, because 1 equals 4 minus 3. So we will do minus 3 also in the formula. <clears throat> now let's try this for figure 2. Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares. So we will have 5 is equal to 4 times 2 because figure 2 and minus 3. <clears throat> well, we have 4 times 2 is 8, minus 3 is 5. So that works. And now, just to make sure, we will look at figure number 3. So figure 3, there are 5 in this line, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9. So we have 9 is equal to 4 times figure number 3, minus 3. And 4 times 3 is 12, minus 3 is equal to 9. So now we can assume that this formula works for any positive integer f. Okay, now let's substitute in the 1,677 as the s. So we will have 1,677, which is equal to 4f minus 3. Okay, now we just want to isolate 4f on one side. So we will add 3 on both sides, which will give us 1,680 equals to 4f. So now, just to get f, we have to divide both sides by 4. <coughs> well, we have to start from the left side. So 1 divided by 4, that doesn't work. 16 divided by 4, well, that's 4. And then we have 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then 0 is 0. So this number divided by 4 is 420. So f is equal to 
420. So now we want to see, well, we have F is 420. Let's see what option is the correct one. Now looking down, we can see that it is option F, 420. So figure 420 will have exactly 1,677 squares. Okay, so now that is our answer. Now, of course, in a contest where we were under time pressure, we have to assume that that is correct. So 420 is the answer. But now if we're in a different situation where we're not under time pressure, like for example now, and we really want to prove that this formula works for any positive integer f, well then we can use the proof by induction. Now the proof by induction has two steps. Now the first step is proving that, or making sure that this formula works for a small initial value of f, like for example 1 or 2 or 3, which we have already done here, and it has worked. So our step 1 is complete. Now for step two. Now we can assume that this formula is true for a specific value of f. So all right, so now we would have the number of squares, which is s, and that would be of the corresponding, for the corresponding figure number, so f, so s of f, which is then still equal to the 4f, 4 times that specific f value, and then minus 3. Okay, now still in the same step, we want to show, so to be shown, What we want to show is that this formula, s of f equals 4f minus 3, is true for the next bigger f of that specific f value. Okay. So now instead of wherever we have f, we will change that to, we will write f plus 1 instead because it is just the next bigger uh, figure number. So we will have s of, instead of f, we will have f plus 1. which is equal to 4 times and then f plus 1 and then of course just the minus the 3. Okay. So, we have s of f plus 1. Now, we have Okay, so now we have s of f plus 1, and this is equal to, well, from the question, we know that for a previous to get the number of squares, you would take the previous figure number, and then you would just add 4 squares. So we can write this as the number of squares for that specific f value which we had, and then we would add 4 squares to get the number of squares for the next bigger figure number. So we would have plus 4. Okay. So this is equal to... Now we're assuming that this formula is true. S of f is equal to 4f minus 3. So instead of s of f, we will write 4f minus 3. <clears throat> and then we still have the plus 4. Okay, and now, so we have equals the s of f plus 4 is equal to 4f minus 3 plus 4. Uh, this is equal to, well, there's a factor of 4 here and a factor of 4 here. So we can use the distributive law, take out the 4, and then we would have just the f, and then 4 divided by the 4 is 1, so we would have 4 times and then f plus 1. And, of course, just the minus the 3. Okay, so as we can see, we have shown 
that those are equal and we have 4 times f plus 1 minus 3 which we have shown here 4 times f plus 1 minus 3. So the second step is complete and we have proved that this formula works for any positive integer f. If you'd like to more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.